Tooth Fairy Magic. Fairyland Forest was alive with the tinkle of tiny voices and the whisper of fluttering wings. It was the night of the fairy gathering when fairies from all over the kingdom came to see Queen Isabella. Everyone was there except for Sparkle, the tooth fairy. Sparkle was collecting little teeth from girls and boys. Sparkle loved little children and adored her job, but it meant she was always late. The forest suddenly went quiet. In a glittering flash of fairy dust, Queen Isabella appeared before the waiting fairies. Is everyone here? She asked in a voice as sweet as honey and as light as a fairy's wing. Not quite, said one little fairy, stepping into the fairy ring. It was Trixie, the problem-solving fairy. My best friend Sparkle is still hard at work. She's the tooth fairy. She collects all the little teeth children have lost just before they get their grown-up teeth. She never knows where she's going to find one, so she has to search every nook and cranny, which takes a very long time. When Trixie had finished speaking, an important-looking fairy with a big stick tapped the ground three times. Let the meeting begin, she announced in a serious voice. The first fairy to stand before Queen Isabella was Zoe, the sewing fairy. She told everyone how she'd made too many fairy bags and didn't know what to do with them. Then, while everyone puzzled over Zoe's problem, Ursula, the potion fairy, stood up. I've run out of sparkles, she said. Without sparkles, I can't make fairy dust. And without fairy dust, there's no magic. I need to find something sparkly, pure and good to make more sparkles. Ursula had barely finished speaking when a fairy suddenly flopped down in the centre of the fairy ring. It was a very tired and dirty looking sparkle. She had had a hard night searching for teeth beneath dusty beds and grimy floorboards. I heard that, she panted. I've got just the thing. Sparkle reached into the fairy purse she was carrying and pulled out something that sparkled in the moonlight. Baby teeth, she explained. What could be more pure and good? And just look at the sparkle. Everyone, including Queen Isabella, agreed that it was a perfect solution to Ursula's problem. And I've had an idea for Zoe's fairy bags, announced Trixie. We can give them to all the little children to put their baby teeth in. Then they can put the bag under their pillow. That way, Sparkle won't have to spend so much time searching for lost teeth. Sparkle nodded her head enthusiastically. I think it would be nice if we left the children a reward for their teeth too, she added. After all, without them, we wouldn't have any more fairy dust. Queen Isabella was very pleased with the fairies' ideas. Well done, everyone, she said. When the meeting had finished, all the fairies fluttered and flew off into the forest. The following day, before Sparkle flew off, the fairies gathered together to write letters to all of the little children in the world. As the fairies scribbled away, Sparkle told them what to write. Dear Right, try and name here. Don't worry if a baby tooth begins to wobble, then falls out. Put it under, put it in this little pouch and pop it under your pillow when you go to bed. While you are sleeping, I'll take it away and leave your coin in its place. Don't worry about the gap. Your missing baby tooth leaves. A brand new teeth will soon grow to fill it. Lots of love, Sparkle, the tooth fairy. When the fairies finished writing the letters, they all helped Sparkle deliver them, along with the fairy bags. From that day on, Sparkle was never late for anything again because her job was so much easier. All the little children put their baby teeth in their pouches and placed them under their pillows where Sparkle could find them. Never again did she have to scramble under beds or between floorboards. Sparkle was a very happy fairy. Sparkle wasn't the only one who was happy. Zoe was happy because all her lovely bags were being used and Ursula was happy because she had lots and lots of gorgeous sparkles for her fairy dust. Queen Isabella and the rest of the fairy fairies were happy because they had lots of fairy dust to do magical things with. But best of all, the children were happy because they knew that if they looked after their baby teeth, they would get a reward whenever one of them fell out.